Newton, Kansas, 1871. Back then, Newton was like Abilene, Dodge, or Wichita, a railroad town and cattle town stuck at the far end of the Chisholm Trail. Most ways, these places were about the same. Loose money, not much law and order, everybody wearing a gun, everybody drinking whiskey. Trouble began on the afternoon of August 11th with an argument and a fist fight between William Bailey, a professional gambler, and Mike McCluskey, a railroad yard foreman and security man. Needless to say, both men were drunk. The fight took place in the Red Front Saloon about four in the afternoon. McCluskey was a big man and he knocked Bailey through the saloon doors and out into the street. Bailey got to his feet and went for his pistol. McCluskey did the same. A stare down followed. Then McCluskey fired two shots. The second one hit Bailey in the gut. Bailey died the following day. Even though Bailey hadn't fired his gun, McCluskey claimed self-defense. One more item was to bear heavily on the situation. The dead man was from Texas. Two days after the shooting, a herd of over a thousand Texas cattle arrived in Newton. Several of the Wranglers who had driven the herd were friends of Bailey. There was talk of revenge. <laughs> 